Hi. Hey, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you're taking your seats, let's take a look at the message on the screen. And we'd like to start by having someone read the, the message at the top. Yes, go ahead. You have worked really hard this year on building a positive community in this room. Today we are going to use that strong bond to take some time to reflect on your own per perspectives and what you can do about them. Okay, great. So the do now for today is to take out one of the note cards that are in the caddies at your desk and you're going to explain what the following quote means to you. So the quote is, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. So we'd, we'd like you to think about that quote and then pick up uh, one of the black pens and an index card from your caddy and then write what that quote means to you um, in your own words. So we're going to be about two minutes to do this. Looks like we're about um, finished. Take another 30 seconds if you're not quite done. All right, so it looks like everyone's about done. So for today's <coughs> acknowledgement, we are going to be sharing our explanation of the quote uh, with a few different students using the strategy of hand up, pair up. So how this is going to work is in a second, um, you're going to take your card, you're going to stand up, you're going to walk away from your current table, you're going to put your hand up and you're going to find a partner. You're going to high five them, you're going to say hello and use their name, and then you're going to read your explanation from your card, listen to your partner, read their explanation, uh, and then you're going to say nice talking to you, you're going to walk away, you're going to find a new partner and repeat the process. So we're hoping you can talk to maybe three people in about two minutes. Um, and while we're doing this, let's just keep in mind one of our classroom norms um, about being an active participant and listener. And make sure that we are looking our partner in the eye and listening carefully to what they have to say. Have my directions for the acknowledgement caused any questions? Okay, excellent. You guys can begin. All right, nice job so far, everybody. Uh, before we move on to the next part of our acknowledgement, we'd like to hear three people share out. Go for it, Lauren. Um, it means that if you're having a tough time, then there's always something, uh, some who, someone who has it hard, though it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's a great answer. Um, so this expression connects the idea of, of perceptions. And what it, what it really means is that sometimes people have the perspective that other people have it better than they do, that they're in a better situation, that they're, um, you know, that they're more successful, or you know, they have it easier. Um, so you may or may not agree with that statement. If you personally agree with that statement, so if you believe and if you look at life by thinking that the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, um, then we would like you to go stand by the window. If you don't look at life that way, um, and you do not think that this is true, we're going to go have you stand on the side of the room by the door. Okay. Um, once you have gotten to your side of the room, we'd like you to find someone else that is on the same side as you. Say hello, use their name, and then uh, talk about why you picked the side that you did. So what, you know, why do you kind of see life that way? Um, have my directions cause any questions here? All right, great. So if you agree, head on over that way. If you disagree, head on over this way. It's okay. If you're leaning this way, go for it. Wow. Wow. Okay. I like that you guys picked this side. So why don't you say hello and say why, why you disagree with that statement to each other. Okay. And I'll eavesdrop if you don't mind. Okay. Um, I usually don't like to compare myself to other people. All right, really nice job, everybody. I was eavesdropping a little bit, um, and the conversations I heard were really thoughtful. I appreciate 
how honest you're all being. Sometimes it's a little uncomfortable to, to share our thoughts on things like this. Um, but this, this whole quote comes down to perceptions, and it's going to tie really well into today's activity that Mr. Clemente is going to explain next. So go ahead and take your seats. As a reminder, you're going to have a sheet of paper where you're going to write information on it. You're going to crumple it up, and then we're going to do something fun with it, a little bit different. But the reason behind doing this particular snowball, if you look at the center of your table, you will notice underneath the caddies there are uh, white pieces of paper. At this time, everybody grab a white sheet of paper. If everybody's ready, we're going to give you a couple of minutes, but if we see everybody's done, then we'll move on to the next step. All right? Begin. A reminder when you finish, crumple up your paper and wait for the next set of directions. Okay, it looks like we're almost there, not quite. A couple, still have a little bit of time. Okay, if you are finished, you're going to come back here and we're going to mix up this snowball a little bit. You're going to have an opportunity to throw it and you're going to try to hit the center of the bullseye. Oh, no. Now, when you're done throwing it, you're going to go up and you're going to grab a random paper that is on the floor. When you have that paper, we are going to form a circle around these four sets of tables. When you open it, if you're, you know it's yours, you're not to say anything. It's just a chance you got your own. Because we're trying to keep this anonymous. Right? So this way, when we throw it to the bullseye, we'll make sure that everyone has one. Nothing will get lost. It'll be awesome. And then when we get in our circle, I will then model for you how we're going to read these. But for now, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to try to hit that bullseye. If you hit the bullseye and you're excited, feel free to be like, woo, I hit it. I don't know if I want to, to embarrass myself. All thing. right, so remember, the goal is the bullseye. So when everybody's ready, aim for the bullseye and let them fly. Go. All right, guys, we're going to make the circle around these four tables right here. So spread out a little bit. Girls, if you want to spread out a little bit, fill in the gaps. All right, I'm going to model for you how we're going to read these. You are going to watch as I read this, and then you are going to tell me what you noticed and how I read this. So the first one is, I perceive myself as not pretty, but not hideous, bubbly and lively. Pretty smart and caring. Others perceive me as not pretty, but not hideous. Not smart, bubbly, cautious, and not confident. I want to be perceived as pretty, smart, kind, and caring. Think about how I read that to you. Talk to the person next to you. We're going to take just about 20 seconds. How did you notice about how I read it? If you need a group of three, that's fine. And then we're going to share out. And he didn't show any emotion, right? He just read it factually, didn't frown and smile. And he didn't, like, laugh. Right, very objective, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Right, so I just want to hear from at least two people who can tell me what they notice. Who's first? You talk like you were mm -hmm. Yes, Caroline? You're very loud and clear. Okay. Um, you made sure that everybody could hear and you read slowly. Okay. So now that we know exactly how it should be read, that's how we expect you to read the rest of them. Okay, we're going to start with Lauren. And we're going to go all the way around until we get to Mrs. Swaim, and then we're going to stop. So I perceive myself as um, not as confident on the inside as I appear on the outside, like I have everyone fooled. 
and then for the others perceive me as pretty confident and able to take um, on challenging tasks. And then I want to be perceived as a true problem solver and someone others can really um, look up to. I perceive myself as athletic, smart, and kind. Others perceive me as kind, nice, trustworthy, and athletic. I want to be perceived as they can trust me no matter what. They can talk to me if they're having a bad day. Before we finish with the second half of the circle, I just wanted to point out two things that I've noticed. Uh, the first is that these answers are very thoughtful and very honest, and I appreciate that you guys put so much thought into it. Um, and also, the reading is great. You guys are being very serious. You're reading loudly so everyone can hear and going at a good speed. I see myself as a good friend, athletic, and help people. Others see me as friendly and smart. I want others to see me as nice, thoughtful, and kind. I perceive myself as nice, friendly, and caring. Others perceive me as nice, a good friend, and active. I want to be perceived as funny, kind, a good friend, and a All right, so it's clear that everybody, when they did this activity, were very honest with their answers. Now, one thing I can tell you from my own personal experience is the quote that started this lesson. I, I've definitely been the type of person who feels that the grass is greener on the other side. Because sometimes when you're in that moment, you don't really understand what other people are going through. Activities like this are great because you get a chance to see that, you know, like I know that my personal belief system is similar to other people's. You know, so the idea is that when we do things like this, we learn about each other, we work together, and hopefully we can come up with some strategies so maybe next time, if we had an activity like this, we would all be on the side that says the grass isn't always greener. Maybe we're appreciative for the things that we have. Now, sometimes it's hard to do that on your own, which is why we do these, because we want you to know that we are here for you. I'm just curious, raise your hand if you've heard the, um, the phrase a self-fulfilling prophecy. You ever heard that expression? So a self-fulfilling prophecy is the idea that um, what you believe is going to happen is what's going to end up happening. So if you um, are very negative and you don't think that you'll be successful in something you'd like to be successful in, that's how it's going to end up. But if you believe that it's possible, if you work hard enough, you can be successful in that thing. Um, so moving forward, we would like you guys to think about, you know, how you would like to be perceived, what you would like to be successful in, and come up with some, some strategies or ideas for how you can make that happen because we've all been in that situation.